So, three months ago, I decided to do a tierless video on Roblox games, and you guys really liked it, so I decided to do a little bit of a sequel with classic Roblox games. Now, these games are known for being old but good and of course i'm gonna be really really mean but i probably actually won't be really mean because i'm too nice and hey i'm also with my friend kj does stuff you may want to subscribe Alright, so first game we've got is Work at a Pizza Place. Now, this game is pretty flippin' good. For some reasons I'd put it at a, a, a solid S tier is because, you know, it's, it's really just a classic. You know, like, there's so many different things to do in the game. They keep updating it, too. I think that's an S tier for me. What, what does Caden think? It's actually an S because it's not my game. Oh, darn. Uh, actually, I say it's an S. Because it's pretty good, I think. Next one is a uh, hole in the wall. Pretty classic game in general. Not very specific to Roblox classic. A lot of uh, different things have uh, adopted it, like Fall Guys, Minecraft. So I'm not going to say it's an S, I'm going to say it's an A, because it's a solid game, but it's not like Roblox unique. To be fair, not like most things aren't um, Roblox specific, like front lines. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Those that are also in real life. I think I give it a B tier. Next one, Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, this one's pretty good, but it's only good if you like, like, a specific type of game. Like, you like the grindy game. I would give it an S tier, but I think, uh, in, in terms of, like, everybody's enjoyment, it's a little bit of a slow and grindy game. I, I would give it a, um, a 9.5, which oh, is I like, it's like an A+. I think it's a pretty good game. We got Theme Park Tycoon 2. Ah, uh, solid. I love this game. Now, it, it's a tycoon. There's a lot of tycoons. You know, they add stuff every once in a while, but, uh... It kind of, it's at a good spot. There's so many different things you could do. Like, it's not, it's not, like, specific. It's not, like, a tycoon where you just, uh, like, step on the, step on the little button and it does it for you. Like, you actually build it, uh, yourself. And you can do, like, infinite different things. And for that reason, I, I'm putting it in S. That is even that good. You don't know what theme park tycoon. Dude, if you had to explain it in like three words, in like or like, like one word, well, how would you explain it? Okay, three words: Six Flags Building Tycoon. That was four words. I know. That was four. That was four <laughs> words. I can't count. But I'll take. I'll. I'll give it probably a B squared. B, B plus. Okay, a B squared B, from uh, Kaden. What, what's above B? What's above B? Hey. <laughs> Dude, just, just put it in B. <laughs> the next one is Bloxburg. Now, my name is Bra Block. I like Bloxburg. I think I might have to give it, like, a, a B. I'm giving it a B. God, get crushed by a speeding wall. He suggested this one. <laughs> what, what do you have to say? This game is an absolute classic. It's a W. You get crushed by a speeding wall. There's things you can get. There's, it's fun. So, it immediately gets an S. Uh, next we have Broken Bones Four. I've I've spent some hours on that game. I'm just gonna give it a B. I have nothing special to say. It's just a good game, you know. I feel like it is really good because like you get to watch your little Roblox character guy have pain. <laughs> Oh, this is absolute S tier. Next, we got Natural Disaster Survival. Uh, I gave it an S in the last tier list, and I will give it an S again. I think it's the most classic game there is. So I'm gonna give it an S though, because it's actually the game that I spent my most most of my Roblox time. We have the most. I is this like the oldest game on the list? I think maybe Doom Spire Brick Battle. I'm gonna give it an A. It's it's a good it's a really good game. I really like the the idea. Uh, and it stemmed a lot of other games. So I'll give it an A on the classic list. So if you want to ruin friendships and ruin oh. other people's lives, then please play this. Yeah yeah yeah. It's genuinely so fun. Next one is Cat. Uh, I, I play this one a lot on my streams. I, I kind of like it because, but it's a good game. 
to get really mad at and if you're really good at it it's really satisfying <laughs> i'm gonna give it a b i feel like i would be a better person if i never played this game <laughs> So immediately, like, it, this is what stemmed most of my, like, <laughs> my anger. Oh. Probably oh. gonna cut people off in traffic because of this. Oh, so oh this my god. Why, giving it a B. Next, we've got one that I feel like not everybody's heard of. The Underground War. Uh like once or twice it's it's good uh basically you're like there's two holes you go down the hole there's like an underground war you know and they've got all sorts of like weapons you can do and stuff and i don't really have anything special to say about it to be honest Let's see and it's literally just doom sprayer bricks doom sprite 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 but underground uh next one is mm2 very classic uh i think everybody knows i'm gonna put this in s tier i'm gonna say i'm torn between b and c so i'm just gonna put it at c because of the sheer fact that like everyone the murderer just has the power to just sit there on the gun adopt me actually hold on i'm gonna do a double adopt me and meep city as i am older and definitely absolutely don't fact check this more mature i feel like it's just a game that you can just chill in which is fine and then as soon as their pets get involved now it's just gambling all right <laughs> so i'm going to give it an f tier both of them yes i'm gonna <laughs> say adopt me d meep city f meep city it's good for role-playing, but the, with the amount of trouble it's caused, I don't think I can give it anything higher than an F. And Adopt Me, like I said in my last tier list, I kind of went on this whole thing about age range, right? If you're if you're six years old, you probably really like Adopt Me. If you're, like, a teenager, okay, you probably don't. All right, next one, we do, we, this, is a, this is a classic. I played this one a lot. We got Roblox Titanic. It takes a little while, but, I mean... <laughs> If you actually have an attention span, it's a good game. Sorry, I just roasted half of you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Got, got a little bit too wild there. A good, good game. Nothing special. See. As someone with the attention span of half of a goldfish, I can concur that this game is just way too long. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this in C. Next, we've got Jailbreak. Good game. I think it just ended. Like, they did an event and, like, it ended or something. It's a good game, and they actually do live events. <laughs> it's like Fortnite. Hey. I'm going to put this in B, because this is just something that I've just, like, played for three hours straight when I was a kid. It's just a, it's just a good prison game, right? It's another one, but you think of classic. Oh, you're, like, good game. Oh, you know, jailbreak, yeah? We're gonna go fast mode, because uh, I'm at 24 minutes We got uh, in the recording. Oh, my God! Yeah, <laughs> we gotta go fast. Next, B Swarm. Good tycoon game. Yeah. I've never been into it. B. Put it in the one. F? Yes. Okay, Caden says F. Why? Why not? Next one is Death Run. Now, I've played a lot of Death Run games. Death Run games are fun. So I'm just gonna put it- I'm just gonna make you guys not too mad, not too happy. It's- it's going in the B. All I know is just by the name, it'll make me angry. See Next one, we got Flee the Facility. Now, this game is pretty good. Uh, it's not exactly a horror game. It's not that scary, but the suspense of the person running after you is kind of scary. Very good game to play with friends. It's got a good objective, and it makes the game stressful, which also makes it fun. So, I'm gonna give it S tier. What he said. Next one. This is a key classic, okay? This is a key memory of mine. Wizard Tycoon. Specifically, the two-player wizard tycoon. Perfect. Perfect tycoon. It is everything I think of when I think of old tycoon game where you press the buttons. S. Tycoon B. Uh, next one, we got Epic Minigames. I like this game. I'm not the most fond of it. C. I don't know. It's, I have, like, zero skill when it comes to, like, precision and stuff. I personally am not good at it, but it seems like a really good game. So I'm going to give it a... a Final two! We've got Prison Life. Now, I'll be a little bit honest. I've never understood the full uh, enjoyment of this game. I, I, it's just not for me. I don't know. It, there's something about it. I know it's, it's like the original prison game or whatever, but I'm, I'm just not sure how to like say it. It's just not him. Not my. It's not him. So I'll give it. 
I'll give it a C. Me too. Whoa, that's crazy. Whoa. All right. Last game. Arsenal. S. Why? Okay. Cadence thinks S. This game, good shooting game. Good randomizers. Good mini games. Hackers. Oh, well. It's a shooter game. What do you expect? Hey. That's... My thing with this game is, like, you have to constantly be looking around for literally everything. Yeah. Like, if you are if you turn your back, there will be at least one person behind you at all times. So, it's, a really, it's really fun if you're having a good day. Well, this is the list. I hope you enjoyed our epic little tier list video. Hopefully, I can make it under 15 minutes because currently it is 31 minutes. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for all the support on the other tier list video. I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys do enjoy this one too. So, uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye, guys.